Hello everybody, it's Van Berman here. Welcome to my video today. It's a preamble to an upcoming project that I'm going to be running, which is to build a Steam box. <clears throat> now, you probably hear a lot of what I'm going to say in my actual video when I'm building it, or, well, probably sectioned out for the other parts as well. But the reason that I wanted to build it which was basically just because a lot of people that I know are going out and buying PlayStation 4s and they seem to have a bit of a stigma when it comes to PC gaming or having a PC or the building of a PC you know because it is quite a scary prospect to a lot of people you know quite daunting the fact that you might build your games console that you're gonna play on and so to an extent I can understand that um, it is a bit of a mental gap, but it's something that you've got to get behind or get past in order to reap the rewards, so to speak. And with the Steam Box, I'm hoping to bridge the gap between console gaming and PC gaming. And obviously, that is a similar sort of thing as to what Steam were envisaging, envisioning with their Steam Box. So, mine is... Well, the one I'm creating... I've got some set goals which I will go through, but basically it has to be around the same price as a console. It has to give similar performance and offer the different advantages that I want it to. So one of the key elements or one of the elements for me would be to have it as a dual boot system, one with the Steam OS and the one with Windows or a Linux OS. You know, so you could use it for normal computer functions, writing an email or whatever it is you want to do that you need a computer for and then also being used as an entertainment system or a game system and I will go into this in detail about the PlayStation 4 and the Xbox One because I do have a lot of issues with them anyway and the way that they're set up but the Steam Box will be hopefully really good I'm not really necessarily building it for myself it just sort of like seems like a personal project I suppose it's not something I'm really going to lose money on because, you know, I bought the pri I bought the parts as cheap as possible and I'll be going through the goals. It's been really interesting, actually, to try and just see what I can get different products for, the best performance I can squeeze out of them. And what I'm going to be doing in the video series, I'm going to be talking about what parts I have bought, what other parts you could go for, what price they are brand new from a reputable um, computer hardware seller. And you know what prices you can get them for, either you know a very good pre-owned one or you know indep more independent sellers than a big, I suppose, high street you might say, chain. And I'll be going through my different choices, why I pick different things, why I pick different accessories, how much they've cost, to what that is in comparison to a PlayStation. I'm not saying you know this couldn't be done as a business. I've realised that, although that is one of the questions I will be trying to answer in my video you know you can't I wouldn't be able to do this <laughs> make these steam boxes and sell them on for any sort of profit because it's just not doable um, plus you know doing it this way you do get the best bang for your buck as well if I was if you were gonna do it more commercially they wouldn't be as good I don't think but as I say I will go through all them I'm gonna do individual videos on each part and then I'm going to video the construction of it as well. So I'm going to put it together. I should say at the minute, I have most of the parts already here. Uh, there's a couple of parts that haven't arrived yet. The motherboard and the power supply aren't here. And also, I haven't actually decided on a graphics card yet. Now, I already have the answer for what graphics card you would have to buy if you're buying everything brand new and wanting to keep it as close to the budget as possible. I already know what card that would be, but I, obviously, because I'm building it slightly differently, can get something a little bit better for the same price that will give us a bit more performance and oomph. And I'm really looking forward to seeing how the Steam Box copes. Obviously, the Steam OS is in beta. I really do have to stress that because a lot of the advantages come from a steam a full steam os being fully working and 
I suppose fully optimized with the games that it's going to be playing and that is one of the major disadvantages that there is at the minute I'm going to hit that head on now and say I'm aware of that and I'm going to be addressing that as well when I do the gameplay videos of it, you know, what it's putting out and what FPS is and different things we are getting from it which once again will be quite interesting I do things like noise tests temperatures all that sort of stuff and so you can get a really balanced approach I suppose I could dig up some facts for the Xbox One the PlayStation 4 and see how it compares in terms of you know a lot of different categories but I'm really hoping it will work work well and I've <laughs> the, the biggest sticking point so far is what do I do when I've completed it I will probably leave it up to you guys I should have thought I'd do a vote or something properly to sell it or to give it as a gift to uh, one of my friends and or family and I guess I'll just leave it at that but if you've got any comments about the series please leave them below if you do have any questions as well I will answer them below I'm not going to talk about anything part specific or price specific at the minute they will come in the different videos but if you have anything about the general series about the, sorry, about the series in general, I'll be happy to answer them. Anyway guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you very soon on the upcoming videos. Goodbye.